a 2000 SPQR. And a few months ago, I purchased this old model from Adar. Evil Knievel. It's one of, I don't know, I think they made like six of them. Um, they're very expensive on eBay. Uh, sometimes they're incomplete. Uh, like mine, they're pre built, pre painted. They just never got anywhere with it. Uh, to find one sealed would be impossible. Someone's got them hoarded, of course. Don't blame them. But if they ever hit eBay, it would easily go over 1000 and up in US dollars. But if you can find an old broken down one, you can probably, like this one, you could probably consider. Well, let me put it to this way you better have $600 in your pocket and you're not afraid to spend it because you're going to need about $600 to fight the other bidders. Unless it's a buy it now thing. Um, people are holding on to them. But, like my brother always said, don't worry, they're always out there. You just got to wait. So I got this one. Okay. You get an Evil Knievel figure, a Harley Davidson replica, you get a ramp, you get a car body, you get flags, a base, decals, instructions, and a personally autographed photo of Evil Knievel. So, get this kind of, here's the uh, photograph it came with. I'm surprised that it's in the condition it's in. Although it's not like, you know, he signed it by himself or anything. This is pretty much valueless. But if you're a fan of Evil Knievel like I am, having this is cool. All right, side instructions. Here's your two photographs. What it looks like completed. Get a nameplate. Assembly of the bike. and the assembly of the man himself. All in all, a good deal so far. Let's see here. Decals. They're in bad shape. What I'll probably do is, uh, Get some decal bonder and spray it over them. It's like they had some water damage or something. Well, better than nothing.
This is strange. Flags. Big old rubber tire. Looks like it was already put together, they just broke it apart. That's it for that. Got some sprue here, but I don't see any parts inside it. Just empty sprue. Hmm. Carefully bagged. Here's the rest of the junk pile. If the fork was attached on, this thing would be about oh, eight, eight and a half inches long. Of course, you got pieces of the Volkswagen that supports the ramp. And it's a little interior. Part of this base. Prepare yourselves for that monster. It's a big model. A lot of stuff going on. There's more of the base. I don't think I can get it all on camera. Wow, that is massive. 
this is a big 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 base display just for that motorcycle to go up a ramp Okay, here it is. You know, bring the star of himself. There's the body. I've already glued it, sanded and filled. Got the gaps out. really a good likeness of them. But with the helmet on I guess it ain't gonna matter. And there's his arms. So, you get all this. I don't think I'm going to use the Volkswagen or the uh, all of that base or anything like that. I think I'll simplify it. Just make a little base out of this and uh, have them doing a wheelie. I think that's what I'll do. This is just way too much. It's a, if you get this kit, it's a space taker. No question about it. It is a space taker. All right, that concludes uh, the Evil Knievel uh, model kit. Details are really rough. I'm going to do everything I can to save it, but uh, it's not looking promising. Hmm. Looks like I got paper towel or something on here. Looks like it may have gotten wet or something. But the condition of these are in. I guarantee you they'll break up. So I am definitely going to have to uh, coat them with a tester's decal bonder or get new decals altogether. Especially the Har Harley Davidson number one and uh, those insignias. Whew work ahead of me. Alright. 